and welcome back to the channel. In this video, episode two of the uh, T5 build, I'm going to be changing my electric power folding mirrors from the original squarey ones to the new 5.1 shape. First thing you've got to do is remove the door panel from the inside. So you've got to pop the handle off. There's a screw in there, Torx bit. There's three along the bottom, one, two, three. And that's the first step we're gonna to do to start with. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to pull away your door from the door skin itself. Now, it's a bit brutal, you have to give it a pull. Um, but yeah, here we go. Okay, once you've done that bit, you're gonna lift the door off the window seal. So if I just pop you around this side, we're gonna lift the door off that seal along there. Now I'm not quite sure if you actually saw that, but that's what we're gonna do. Right, this is the passenger side. Now before I take it off, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things you need to do. You need to release the uh, door handle by pulling that little latch and popping that little piece out. And you also need to sort out the light switch. Now, the light switch itself, if I can just get under here at the same time, should be able to pop, release it through, so I can actually show you here. And so I can see, there's a little release pin here, and just release the cable. So we're just gonna pop that in there. Right, take that to one side. Right, let's take a look at the actual wing mirror gonna be fitting. Uh, now, Traveling Light do a full kit. Um, so this is uh, an electric mirror. I've already got one on the, on, on the other side. They do a full kit, um, but this van already has um, the kit in. So what we're gonna be doing is literally swapping them over so you want to release the middle one of the two three <laughs> one of the two you want to release the middle one of these whilst we're on the inside too you want to take out this grommet just poke it through because you're going to want to cut that off and reuse it in a minute and now what you need to do is remove these three torx bolts i've got the last one to release Right, once all three screws are out, you can remove, uh, I'm just stick that back on. You can remove the cable by making sure that the grommet comes out too. Carefully putting them up. Somebody might want these. And this is the old mirror. Right, time for the new one. So, okay, what we're going to do first step is to thread the uh, loom into the side of the van and then the fiddly part of locating the loom on the inside and just pulling that through. Right, there are three holes. I keep getting in the way, I think. There are three. <laughs> oh, that's going to annoy me. All right, once you've got your three holes lined up, you want to get the screws back in. Now I'm literally just going to pop the first one in and get her tightened up a little bit so that I can let go of it. Just to reuse the grommet. So now we're going to plug her in. And she's in. All right, so I've got two more bolts to do. 
then I will need to sort out my wind deflector which actually attaches um, just down here too so I'm gonna have to pop a little screw in there and then we'll look at getting the cover on the new wing mirror I've got the door cover on the last bit I've got to do is just pop the handle on and then we can look at putting the cover on here okay these are quite fiddly but they are doable um, you need to line up the top three in the top three along there and then slowly work it down and once you've pressed firmly down on all the edges that's it right let's see if they work Happy days. So this is Tom, this is T-Dubs. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you in episode three.